Hello, this is Doug, and in this video I'm going to start talking about uh, combustion reactions. Just briefly go over what they are, how to spot them. So if you take a look at a combustion reaction, right, when you think combustion, everyone thinks of things like fire, which is absolutely true, right? So it's your classic burning a piece of wood, lighting a candle. Um, over here on the, uh, in the picture on the left-hand side, that's a candle, right, burning on earth. That looks pretty familiar. And I just thought this was cool. Over on the right-hand side, that blue thing, that is a candle burning uh, on the space station. So that's in outer space with no gravity, which is, I just think, just generally cool. <clears throat> um, but back to combustion reactions. The idea here, right, to spot them, right, they usually involve hydrocarbons, right? And so by hydrocarbons, I mean things that involve hydrogen and carbon. They can involve other elements too, but they're probably going to involve hydrogen and carbon. And so if you look at this formula up here, right, here's my hydrocarbon. I have C3H8, which is propane. This is the uh, formula for, for uh, the combustion of propane. Um, and not only are we gonna are we gonna need something to burn, whether it's wood or it's propane or something like that, but they all require oxygen, right? Which is something that you all probably know, anyways, right? We know that candles, we need that things that burn, they need oxygen in order to burn, right? You snuff out a candle by putting a glass over it, it goes out because it uses all the oxygen. Uh, similarly, we as animals will talk more about how we do combustions too, but we also need oxygen, right? Otherwise, we burn out in a, in a similar sort of way. So we're always going to require oxygen. Oxygen is always going to be a reactant. Is another way to say that, right? So it's going to be on the left hand side of that arrow. Now, um, things that we're going to make, right? Again, think about people, right? One of the one of the things that we produce that we breathe out is carbon dioxide, right? So same thing is true for when you burn stuff, and you've probably heard of carbon dioxide a lot in the news if you're following anything about climate change and burning fossil fuels and stuff like that, right? Fossil fuels are hydrocarbons. When you burn them, you create a whole bunch of carbon dioxide, right? And again, that's what we produce also. We also breathe out carbon dioxide. And then lastly, what you normally don't think about when you burn something is that there's actually a lot of water made, right? We don't normally think about when you light a match, you're making water, but that's absolutely what's happening. We just don't see the water because it's steam, but you do produce water too. That's where the hydrogens go in your hydrocarbon. They go into water. And so you're always going to see those two things, right? So you're going to have carbon dioxide and water as products. <clears throat> if there's other elements like nitrogen or sulfur, those will be in, in the products also, but you're going to definitely see carbon dioxide and water is the idea. <clears throat> And then lastly, um, you're, uh, all, uh, all, everything that burns, right, we, we kind of know this too, but I just put this um, down here as this last bullet, right? They're always exothermic, or in other words, they get hot. They release heat, all right, which means their delta H is some negative number, negative so many, so many, you know, kilocalories per mole kind of depends on what the thing is that's burning, how big it is, etc. So they're all exothermic, which is, which is kind of nice to know. So what this means for us, right, if I want to identify a combustion reaction and compare and contrast it versus like an acid-base reaction or a redox reaction or any other kind of reaction, is that I'm always going to have something plus O2, right, because we always need oxygen to burn something, and you're always going to make carbon dioxide and water. So you're always going to see those three things. Those are going to be your big hints, right? Always O2, always making CO2 and water in that order. Whatever this, this mystery thing is over here, that doesn't really matter. As long as you have O2 as a reactant and CO2 and water as products, then you're set. So let's take a look at this. All right, so if I have these reactions right here, my first reaction, so I've got methane plus oxygen mixed CO2 and water, and sure enough, right, I've got water, CO2, uh, I'm sorry, I've got O2, CO2, and water, which means that this would be considered a combustion then. All right, this is a combustion because I have oxygen as a reactant, CO2, and water as products. If I take a look at the second one here, I have carbonic acid mixed CO2 and water. I do have CO2 and I have water. However, right, I don't have any O2 here. I'm sorry, not O2. Yeah, yeah, O2, O2. I don't have any O2 here, which means this is not a combustion. This is not a combustion. This is something else. So while the first one was a combustion, the second one is not a combustion. Uh, so keep in mind, right, that we have to see all of all three of those things, not just any one or two of them. Right, like in this third example, aha, I finally do have O2 as a, um, I finally do have O2 as a reactant. However, I don't have any water, nor do I have any CO2 as products. So again, this is not a combustion, right? We need all three. And then lastly, if I take a look at this one down here, 
Um, I have O2, I have water, and I have CO2. I have O2 as a reactant, water and CO2 as products, so that means that this is, in, in fact, a combustion. So combustions, again, are pretty easy to spot. The idea is that they're pretty easy to spot because they're so specific about what has to be reacting some products. Um, and now if you watched some of my previous videos, right, you'll remember that this is the formula for um, aerobic respiration. Right, for cellular respiration, aerobic respiration, is that you take uh, this molecule, right, which is usually the formula for glucose, and then you have oxygen, which is the oxygen we breathe, and we breathe out water and CO2, right? We breathe those out. Uh, we excrete some water, obviously, in our uh, renal system and yeah, as urine, but we breathe out most of our CO2. We do excrete some CO2 also. But this is your respiration equation, right? And respiration basically is essentially a combustion reaction. I mean, it is a combustion reaction. And so when we talk about, well, how do cells survive? How do we survive? How do we get energy from things, right? It's through combustion, right? We take the foods that we eat and we literally combust them. Uh, we breathe in O2 so we can burn them and we turn them into CO2 and water. And so that's how we, we survive, right? That's how we get the energy from the foods that we need in order to move and run around and chase things and eat more stuff, have babies, etc. Um, and what's cool about living organisms is that we're, co we're, we're combustion engines, but we combust slowly. We slowly burn stuff instead of burning it real, real, real quick, right? If you, took, um, if you took a piece of bread and you ate all of it, you'd get so many calories of energy out of it, right? But if you took that same piece of bread and you toss it in a fire pit, the same amount of energy would pr be produced. Or if you took that piece of bread and you just left it out in the forest and let it slowly rot away and let it decompose and get all oxidized, it would release the same amount of energy because it's the same reaction. It's literally the same reaction. So what we're going to talk about in future videos is the other types of reactions that are out there, like acid-base, like redox reactions. So we can take a little closer look at exactly how respiration occurs. How, how is this combustion reacting slowly in us and all the intermediates like NAD+, and FAD, etc. like that. So if you have any um, questions or comments about this video, uh, please leave them down below. Uh, go ahead and watch the Recognizing Acids and Bases uh, videos and the, and the redox videos coming up here. Uh, happy studying.